Hey guys, Gus the Guy here, back with another episode of RimWorld. So, when we last left off, we were in the process of, I guess, re-renovating this building here. Matt is finally our researcher, getting some shit done. We need to get turrets done, gun turrets to be more specific. That is, like, our first priority at this point, because I am concerned about defense. Because if the game starts throwing bigger raids at us, we're screwed. And then comes a pack of manhunting wild boars. Okay, so this is really going to test, as I speak... The game decides to test my defenses, so uh, this is going to be a challenge. The real question is, where are they going to attack? Are they going to go to this door here, or here, or are they going to go around here, forcing us to engage them? That is a real question. I do, however, need to restrict them to the home area, because I don't want anyone getting fucked uh, by these pieces of shit. So, I'm going to move Matt right here, just so he can begin weakening them. And hopefully we don't get totally fucked here, because boars in a big group can just totally just wreck you. Like, I don't want to deal with this, but I have no choice because the game has decided to throw them at us. So let's just fast forward and prepare for the inevitable attack, the onslaught we're about to experience. So Matt has his long-range survival rifle. He has... Really good shooting skill. But there's a lot of obstacles for him to shoot through. Okay, we're not going to get any shots off of here. we got to move inside. Okay, where are they going? Okay, so they are trying to circumvent our defenses, it looks like. Well, are they? No, they're not. They are simply sitting there. So, any has an assault rifle. Maybe... So, one of them must have been shot. I don't know which one, but there's blood out here. Whose blood is this? Oh, okay. I thought he was going outside. No, this is Link's blood. So this is not blood of boars. So, the, yeah, they keep attacking the door because they saw him go through it and they know that's where he comes from. So I guess what I have to do is basically take the occasional pot shot at these guys as they get out of range. Or they get, get away a little bit. So, any... Uh, I mean, do I really even need to worry about these guys? That's the question. I don't, I don't know. Where are they going? Where are they going? Okay, we do have people... We got some boars. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this now. It has officially become a priority to fucking kill these things. Uh, so Ritter, he has a machine gun, so we want him closer to the action here. Uh, Dinah doesn't have anything. Freckles has a knife. Um, well, she can be back up in case we do get rushed. And Matt, I'm gonna have to wake you up right now to start uh, taking some shots again. Alright guys, prepare for the onslaught. Thankfully we have guns, so we have a, a good chance of taking care of this, but if they get in melee range, we're in trouble. Uh, this is gonna be close. Okay, we got two of them down, and then there's still two left. Come on, we can take him out before he becomes a problem, right? Okay, let's see... Okay, we're good. That was... not... fun. But we dealt with it. We did a really fucking great job, actually. So we have one boar left alive. I'll mark him for hunting so they kill it. And now we have a shit ton of free food here. So if you can deal with the... attacks, it's a shit ton of free food and it's fucking awesome. But if you can't, it is... terrifying, because these boars are fucking deadly. I know I've said this several times, but in case it was not clear, I fucking am terrified of packs of wild animals. The only thing worse than boars are probably wargs, and I don't know what other um, creatures can become mad manhunters and try to fuck you up. Let's see if we can kill this last one here. Uh, I probably should have fucking... Nah, I shouldn't have done I should have just went inside. Oh, he's going to bleed out at the very least. Well, I can still have... Uh, Okay, yeah, I, I'm, he's not badly injured, so I can still have him to sit out here and pot shot, because I just want to get rid of these guys ASAP, because I don't want to deal with them. A few more shots and he should be unconscious, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, and he's dealt with. See, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting some big, dramatic fight that was going to possibly result in some colonist deaths, but we dealt with it. Our position is so fucking tactically sound. I am... I'm pumped. I'm pretty happy with this place. Okay, I'm noticing we're having some electricity problems. Why? Oh, they must have deconstructed a conduit when they deconstructed this wall, so we need to fix that. Because right now, people are freezing in their own rooms because we don't have... 
enough, um, whatever. So can someone, uh, can you prioritize this blueprint and then, uh, who's our medic? We've barely needed a medic, so I don't even know who our medic is at this point. Can you prioritize treating any, please? We don't need him getting infected over a fucking scratch from a wild boar, so. You're our best medic, uh, get to it. What is our medic level anyway? Nine, that's pretty good. By the way, guys, I'm still uh, looking for some feedback on my RimWorld video series. As I say this, because I was just about to accuse you guys of not telling me what you wanted, but I realize I haven't posted that video yet. It's sitting on my hard drive, not posted. Because what I'm doing right now, to kind of help with the fact that I work on kind of a random schedule, I'm going to record more videos in advance, and then I can edit them. Because recording and editing on the same day is painful, but if I only have to do one or the other on any given day, it's not bad, because I can record, like, three videos a day, no problem. It's just editing three videos a day is very cumbersome. So, I'm gonna try to have a nice video backlog, so I can edit them at my leisure. So, yeah, I'll always, hopefully, have a video up, so I don't have situations where I don't have an opportunity to post a video for three days. It's because I'm exhausted from work. I think I can safely suspend our stone cutters job for a while and then Dinah since you don't have to stone cut what are you gonna do instead you're gonna grow and if you can't grow you're gonna construct or haul or clean so I'll let her clean for a few days well, I'll just let her fucking clean and then when she's done with that she can go help us with mining because we need some uh, we need to get some mining done here and you're really the only person I can think of that we can keep as a miner there now our batteries are finally full so I can kick these things off there we go, Dinah's uh, being a champ here, making our place look a lot cleaner. Not a whole lot going on right now, let's just go ahead and fast forward. Hey, Ritter, Ritter, what were you even injured from? I don't even fucking remember you getting injured. Oh, he got a bit a couple times by the uh, wild boars, that's right. Anyway guys, um, side note while we're just kind of fast forwarding here, I've been very lightly using my fast forward tool because I didn't want to skip too much content but I think that's kind of slowing the pace of the game down a little bit too much maybe because it can be slow at times there's a lot of times between events and sometimes it's just surviving and getting shit done and there's nothing else you can really do so I'm gonna start using uh, fast forward a little bit more often and see where my episode lengths end up and if they end up a lot shorter I might actually start doing three day videos instead of two day videos just so we can progress our colony faster on a per episode basis. Plus, I like playing this in long sessions. And it's hard to do that when I don't have the opportunity to do that. And, um, yeah. So, that's something to keep in mind. And let me know if you if you guys are on board with that. If you have any comments or if you don't really give a fuck. Still comment. I don't know. I just want to hear from you guys. You know, do uh, boars drop leather? It doesn't look like they do. Oh, no, no, they do. So, we have 75 pigskin now. We must have got that all from... Uh, Rid of students cooking. Let's get all that pig skin from from those boars. You know, I'm really wishing that Dinah. Should I make Dinah haul before she does anything else? I think I need her to. Because I don't know what I have in stock because she's not hauling shit. So she's gonna haul and then clean and then then she's gonna mine. So she's probably never gonna get to mining at this point. Oh well. It is what it is. We need to get that shit done anyway. Freckles is a better miner anyway. The only question is, maybe I should kick Freckles off of cooking for a while. Because, um... Our good friend... Ritter... He won't... Tailor. He doesn't have anything to tailor. So, I could just kick her off of there for a while. And have her prioritize mining and shit. Because I need to get that done. At some point in the near future. She's not even that good of a cook. And I only put her on there temporarily, at least as my goal was originally to only put her there temporarily, but then that did not happen. I might as well... Do I have auto doors researched? Uh, no I don't. So, I don't really want auto doors, they're not a priority. But I'm thinking I'm gonna... What do I have a lot of blocks of? Sorry, I'm thinking out loud a lot here. I have a lot of blocks of marble. I'm gonna go ahead and make some marble doors. We're gonna do a double door here. For conservation of electricity. As well as a security measure. Uh, because I'm going to have heaters and coolers. And then we don't want all the hot air just going in and out as easily. Um, I'll have to create a vent of some kind for this room. I guess I can just put a fucking vent 
through here. Well then, uh, there becomes the problem. I can't put a vent through there, can I? I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm not thinking straight, maybe. So what I'm going to do is this will be my ventilation chamber for all of our um, coolers. So I should probably make it double wide here. And that way it'll vent all the hot air out through here. And we should be good. And then um, I'll just, I can put a heater wherever the fuck I want because that doesn't have a exhaust of any kind. So that'll be fine. And also I suppose this could be... Because really I should have the walls be made of some material that is not just a bare mountain wall. Because they, they, uh, they think mountain walls are ugly. So that gives you a giant mood or a beauty uh, debuff because you want it to look pretty for them to put them in a better mood so we don't want to just leave it as mountain wall so we'll build a regular old wall here it should pay for itself with all the marble chunks we have for uh, mining this out so we'll do that and anyway we'll um, we'll run the conduits through here I'm just trying to think out exactly how I want my layout for this to be so it looks uh, the maximum level of gorgeousness you know anyway Oh, we have a mad animal. It is a local hare. Really? That is a huge, terrifying threat. I'll just mark it for hunting and hope it doesn't do any damage. So actually, guys, this episode has gone pretty quick. We've... Ooh, we struck Plasteel. That's pretty cool. Plasteel is a very valuable resource. So you need it for building a lot of late games items. Oh, Dinah is running from our mad hare. Can you run inside of our base, please, Dinah? And... I really don't want to have someone with a gun, because she's probably going to stab, or they'll probably shoot Dinah back, and so let's have Freckles run out there and stab this hair for Dinah, and we'll just have to have them get injured, and then we'll go ahead and treat them for their injuries, and hopefully they don't get infected or die. It is going to be a waste of medicine, though, really. There we go. There we, we fucking killed that bitch. Cut off its, fr its front leg. Nice. And, uh, let's see. How, how are you doing? You got a couple bites. You got a couple bites. So, it's nothing too traumatic. You guys will be okay. Anyway, I think what I was saying, before I got rudely interrupted by this wild hair, I'm just gonna go for three epi or three days in this episode, because why the fuck not? It's going by pretty fast, and I'm enjoying this game. And this is one of those games that I think are best enjoyed in long, longer sessions, or they can be. Finish with microelectronics basics. So cool, this allows me to now research uh, gun turrets. Perfect. Now, okay, so Matt should research that. Uh, how much does he need to know to do that anyway? Uh, where'd that go? Research tab. Uh, 800. So it's gonna take a day or so. It'll barely take any longer than microelectronics basics took. So hopefully by probably next episode, we'll have that research done. We can start building the turrets, which is something we really need to get to. There we go, Matt's treating her injuries. Matt is a level 6 doctor, so he's not as good as Freckles, but Freckles can't treat herself, unfortunately. So Matt has to take care of that. Anyway, not a whole lot more going on in this episode, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fast forward. Hey, oh shit, we have a raid. Hold on, I was... Hold on, guys, I'm trying to turn on some switches here. Okay, there. Okay, sorry. Uh, raid, raid, raid. Okay, don't flick out at me. What do we got? Okay, we've got three raiders. Oh shit, they have sniper rifles. It's like this game knew exactly what my strategy is. So this will, this may force us to engage them a little bit closer. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to have Matt get out there. Any, go ahead and get out there, Ritter. You and your machine gun gotta get out here. Freckles, I'm just gonna leave you to sleep. Because, well, maybe I should have her get up as backup. Just in case. Are they gonna prepare for a while and then attack? I can't remember what the uh, prompt said. Okay, it doesn't look like they're attacking immediately, so... I can let my people sleep for now, then. Or do whatever they want, so they're in a better mood, ideally, than... In, in, anyway, yeah. So... I could attack them myself preemptively, but I don't think that's going to be a good strategy for me. So I'm going to go for letting them come to us 
and take advantage of our tactically advantageous positioning and hope that that's enough to take them out because these sniper rifles are deadly if they are in the hands of a good shot. So let's see. Okay, this guy is a shitty shot, so actually he might not be much of a threat. This guy is actually a pretty good shot, and Mr. Machine Gun's a pretty good shot. So only one of the snipers is really a huge threat, and then the other gun marksman, whatever, is a pretty big threat as well. Seeing if they have anything else I need to be aware of. So, we should be fine. I'm a little scared, but I think ultimately it'll be, it'll be okay. And there's a bear eating eating a beaver right now. Actually, the bear's taking care of our beaver problem for us. So that's good. See, that, like I said, the bear's not all bad. He'll just eat you if he's hungry. Alright, they're beginning their assault, so real quickly I'm going to pause the game so I can set up my structure here. So actually what I'm thinking, I'll have him here... I want him here so they have to get closer range to shoot at him. Freckles will stand in behind him. And Matt, I'm trying to think how I want to position things. Because if I force the snipers to get in closer range, everyone else can um, take a few shots off on them. So maybe I will, I'll have Matt stand here. That's going to really group us together closely though. But it will force the snipers to come around this corner in order to attack us. And I need to remember to quickly restrict everyone inside of the base. So really, actually, the only one who's not fighting is Dinah, because she is exceptionally useless. And anyway, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen. I'm very nervous for this attack. Cross your fingers, guys. They're about to come around the corner, and we're either going to get fucked or we're going to win. Alright, so everyone is now unloading on them. They have no cover, so we might actually just take them out right now. Alright, Matt, I'm going to have you whip around down here. Freckles, there's no reason for you to be directly in the line of fire. So I'm going to have you sit around this corner and just wait and see what they do. Okay, we got a headshot on Arthur there. He's down. He's not dead. Oh, we got one dead. Matt, can you take him out? Oh, uh, not, I don't think we're going to get him. Oh, well. Let's see, though. We did... Oh, actually, Matt, 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 Matt. Go through here. We might be able to get a couple shots off of him. Um, so which... Cool, he dropped the normal sniper rifle, which is awesome. Um, we're going to strip this guy down and have... force you to strip it. Because if he's not dead, we can take his clothes. And then we're going to go ahead and capture him. Uh, we're going to need to... Uh... Well, first, Freckles, don't start healing him yet. Let's build a campfire in here so he doesn't freeze to death. And also, I want to mark him... Uh... Chat and recruit. 99% difficulty. We probably won't recruit him anytime soon, but... Uh, where's that other guy, anyway? Did I... He must have escaped. I didn't keep very close tabs on him to see where he would have went. Yeah, I don't see shit. Oh, well. So that was a very successful raid. Actually, we got both the sniper rifles. It was actually the guy that didn't have the sniper rifle that survived. So, any anyway, cool. Now, it's warming up in here. Now, it's not completely dark. So, Freckles, you can go ahead and start... Uh, healing. What are you doing? Um, okay, so first of all, any you are not the priority. You need to prioritize treating him. He can have medicine, because I want to recruit him. And then, um, any you can take care of uh, feeding him later. But for now, I'm not too worried about that. And, uh, you know, I think... Who do I think is the most valuable person here? Of my fighters. Uh, or the most likely to need an armor vest. Probably Freckles, actually, because she's our medic. So once she's done healing Arthur, hopefully successfully, looks like she had a pretty good heal. Um, go ahead and put that armor vest on. Awesome. We're going to need to build another grave as well. I built them out here just because it's like a warning to my enemies. I forget if I made that clear before. But in case you're wondering, my graves are outside of my base. So when enemies know everyone I've killed. So I think those are all corpses of my enemies that are in there. So cool. That's, that's exciting, right? So we can unrestrict everyone now. Arthur will slowly and hopefully be recruited once he's awake. He didn't lose any limbs. And uh, he's, of course, the one with shitty shooting. But he does have a pretty good artistic skill. He's incapable of dumb labor, which is annoying. That's very, that's actually really annoying. And really, he, he's good with a knife and he can draw. So we'll keep him, if we can get him, as an artist. And he'll help in the our goal of beautifying our base. 
So good for him. He, he's super, super duper helpful, right? On the bright side, though, we got some free clothes out of it. We got a parka that's in shitty condition, but hey, it's a free parka. It looks like we got a piece of medicine, which will make up for our lack of medicine. And then Matt has earned himself a free sniper rifle. Uh, I hear mining, but I don't see mining. Freckles, you're prioritizing that shit, huh? It's really not something I need right now, so... If you could be a doll... Uh, oh, not mine everything, but just not mine that. And instead go... I wish she would do that area by default, but no, she's not thinking straight. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to cancel this order, too. And now, hopefully... Oh, great, a psychic drone. Uh, everyone on the male... Uh, gender mentioned the pain. So, psychic drone is basically... I mean, you can read the description. So it's just something that makes everyone of a certain gender or everyone feel like shit. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but usually it seems like they're bad. So now all the males are going to have a negative... Uh, they're going to have a debuff. Some of them... Uh, okay, none of these guys are dull to it, but some people have the trait that they're dull to psychic drones. And that's that's handy to have. It'll make their uh, the effects of a psychic drone a little less severe and less cumbersome. So that's good for them, I guess. All right, so we got we got ourselves we got a prisoner. That's awesome. Male mercenary sniper. How the hell are you a mercenary sniper if you have fucking level two in in shooting? So there's no way that could be a thing for you. All right, cool. So now we got Matt. He's got himself a sniper rifle, and I think this is a good point to end this episode. So we did three episodes. Or damn, god damn it, we did three days in this episode. Which means we got a little bit more done, and we actually got ran into a lot of exciting times. Because we've had it easy for a while here, and then uh, the old storyteller, Cassandra, decided to test our metal, and I think we held up well. But you know what that means? The challenges are only going to get harder from here. So, next time, things may not go as well for us, but for now, we've handled things quite well. We didn't even get a scratch from that raid, which was awesome. And we managed to capture one of them. I think that's that's going to be good for us. I'm pretty sure that other dude must have escaped because I don't see any... I don't see any blood trail and I don't see any fucking corpse, so... Oh well, not a big deal. We got one of them. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like it to show that you did enjoy. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you want to see from the series. I've been asking for two episodes now and I want loads and loads of feedback. And last, but of course not least, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Because what are you doing with your life? You watched 11 episodes, or no, it's like 12 episodes now, I think, of this series. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't understand you. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, join our community. We'd love to have you. But anyway, my name is Kess the Guy, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!